Despite his reputation, Mazepin has been F1's least outstanding performer this season. It is not due to a slew of mistakes. It is just a matter of the cold, hard fact that his overall speed has been insufficient. Besides, unlike a few collisions, a lack of speed is usually a more difficult flaw to overcome. So the question everyone is asking, how did Mazepin get into Formula 1? That's exactly the topic of today's video, so stay tuned to find out. But before tuning in, we would love it if you'd click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell for more updates and videos like this one. Before anything else, let us first get an insight into Nikita Mazepin. Nikita Mazepin's Racing Career Nikita Mazepin rose through the ranks with flying colors after first turning a wheel at 7. Since making his single-seater debut in 2014, the young Russian has repeatedly proved his talent and versatility across all categories. Nikita had a breakout year in 2018, finishing the season as the GP3 Series Vice Champion. In 2019, he advanced to Formula 2 with High Tech Grand Prix before testing with Mercedes, the defending Formula 1 world champions, topping the timesheets during the mid-season test in Barcelona. Nikita rose to attention in 2020 when he came within a whisker of winning the Formula 2 championship. Though the championship eluded him, the 21-year-old caught the attention of the Formula 1 paddock with his daring overtakes and blistering racing speed, resulting in triumphs at Silverstone and Mugello. In 2021, Nikita will be the fourth Russian driver to race in Formula 1. After signing a multi-year contract with the American team Haas, he made his debut in the 2021 season. But how did he get to Formula 1? When Haas eventually broke their silence about their 2021 plans, they announced that F2 racer Nikita Mazepin made his Formula 1 debut the following season. After five seasons in Formula 1, Haas has decided to change things up, changing the experience for the young and reaping the financial rewards of selecting a driver with backing. They are investing that money in car development and enhancing their overall operation. Implementing the budget cap in 2021 means that the spending disparity between F1's 10 teams will be narrower. After two very challenging seasons, Haas sensed an opening and chose to take drivers with backing. With Roman Grosjean and Kevin Magnussen departed, and veteran drivers like Sergio Perez and Nico Hülkenberg passed over, Haas made it clear they were looking for coming talents. F2 racer Mazepin was at the top of their list. Dmitry, the Russian businessman's father, is a billionaire who has been pushing for his son to compete in Formula One for several years. He also has been linked with buying teams, having spoken to Force India and, more recently, Williams before they went with Doralton. Gunther Steiner, team principal, began conversations with Mazepin after getting to know him in recent years. It became evident which could reach an agreement. It took a long time to iron out the specifics of the arrangement. Some believe that the financial backing he brings is significant and will significantly boost the American team's overall budget over the next few years. The F1 knowledge will undoubtedly be useful, as the Russian will be accustomed to a Formula 1 cockpit and the processes involved in managing the car. That will come in handy over the three days of preseason testing. What are the reasons why people crowned Mazepin as the worst driver ever? Let us find out. Disrespectful Nikita was banned from the Hungara Ring Formula 3 European Championship event in 2016. He was also found guilty of unsportsmanlike conduct after free practice. Eyewitnesses described the incident. Nikita exited his car and approached British race driver Callum Eilat. Nikita was unhappy that Eilat was delaying his test drive on new tires. Nikita then hit Callum Eilat twice during a heated exchange of words. Callum Eilat was noticeably upset with cuts on his cheek and neck and swelling on his jaw. Nine hours later, the sentence was revealed, and Eilat was disappointed in the lightness of the punishment. It was suggested he punched his rival once owing to heightened emotions. After the first hit, they separated. Nikita then hit him again. Considering Eilat had a black eye and swollen jaw, that part seemed particularly unfair. So the one-match suspension for Nikita was a highly contested judgment. Fans hated him for being disrespectful. He should know how to restrain himself and respect those around him. Racist and homophobic it's fair to assume Nikita has the human decency to understand racism, or worse, recognizes it but doesn't think it's a bad thing. So one of Nikita's fans approached him. The fan said Nikita's fans were racist. He replied that this was reality. Nikita also got in trouble for applauding a racist remark made by a fan. A fan said a Japanese driver, Yuki Sonoda, belonged on a kabuki theater, not a racetrack. Nikita chuckled if he didn't find the remark offensive. His personal space probably wouldn't have mattered, but he publicly responded with many laughing emojis. 
a controversial comment from Nikita Mazepin during his social media live chat was perhaps not a good choice. This time, he chose to show homophobic traits. Nikita said, I have a coming out secret about you, mate. It made the live conversation quite unpleasant. Irresponsible driver. If we chose to put everything unrelated to race beneath the bed, Nikita would still face another controversy in the 2019 Formula 2 race in Sochi. There was a collision. The FIA declared that Nikita Mazepin was entirely to blame for the accident. He'd gone off the tracks in the second turn of the first lap, sending him and another driver to the hospital. As a result, he received a 15-place grid penalty and four penalty points on his license. Another altercation with Sonoda occurred at the spa, and he was assessed two five-second penalties, which cost him a podium and increased his license points to 11. Sonoda had been pushed off the track and into the pit lane exit by Nikita. On the pit straight, he also hampered Philippe Drugovic. As a result, Drugovic was raised to third position, while Nikita was demoted to ninth place. What can you say about Nikita Mazepin? Is Mazepin a Formula 1 worthy driver? Let me know your thoughts and comment down below. But before the video ends, please do not forget to click the like button, share the content, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell for more updates and videos like this one.